Hello, hello, my name is Nipun and welcome to Skincare Simplified. In today's video, we're talking about the magical ingredient, the one that is super popular and everyone loves as the secret of ageless beauty. Yes, we're talking about retinol. This is an in-depth video for uh, about retinol. Whether you're a pro or a beginner, there is something that you can learn from this. Now, if you're familiar with retinol, if you are a watcher of this channel, then I would suggest you check out the timestamp in the description box because then you can skip to the good part or the part that is relevant to you. If you're a beginner, then watch this video through and through. So let's get started and first understand what is retinol and what is this big hype about. So retinol is a derivative of vitamin A. The ingredient term or the umbrella term is retinoid. Now retinoid has different forms. The over-the-counter form that you can easily purchase from stores or online that comes in various brands is called retinol. That is the over-the-counter uh, name for this ingredient and then you have the prescription or the medical grade as they famously call it the variants which are tretinoin acetin adipoline retina held retina heldite i'm not sure how you pronounce it these are all variants that are prescription grade for the same thing which is retinoid so OTC, retinol, prescription grade has all of these terms. They are all derivatives of vitamin A. Now, this ingredient was kind of discovered about 60, 70 years ago, and this was used to actually treat acne. Yes, this was an acne treating ingredient, but over time, estheticians, dermatologists realized that because it does boost the skin cell turnover, this can actually be a very, very effective anti-aging product. And the first company, fun fact, history lesson to stabilize retinol is called ROC. They actually created the first stabilized over-the-counter version, which, which we so love, which is called retinol. That's your history lesson, it ends there. Now, retinol is an ingredient which is fantastic for anti-aging, but it also has a host of other benefits. For instance, it can help your dark spots, pigmentation, hyperpigmentation, it can work on fine lines, wrinkles, dullness of skin. It has a magnitude of benefits, including helping with acne. However, and this is a big however, this product is not to be used by pregnant or nursing women. So this is a caveat that stays through this video. If you're pregnant, nursing, trying to conceive, stay away from retinol. There isn't enough research on this, but it is recommended by all doctors that this should not be used by women who are pregnant or nursing. Now, in the first part of the video, we're going to talk about retinol for beginners. I often get asked this question, recommend me, recommend me a retinol, I have oily skin or I have dry skin. The first thing you need to know is retinol is a drying ingredient. So the impact it will have on your skin will be based on your skin type. Having said that, you can use any type of retinol based cream or serum now let me give you my recommendations as a beginner i always recommend start with a retinol based cream they are less potent they are gentle they can really help you get started with retinol as an ingredient my recommendations would be roc max hydration or ole regenerous 24 there are obviously serums within roc for the exact same thing and there are lots of other serums available the ordinary also has retinol based serums quite a few but in my opinion and what i have seen on others they don't quite seem to work so i will leave ordinary out of this list if you're a beginner start with roc start with ole start with a retinol based cream now as a beginner you do not start using a retinol every single night Retinol is an ingredient that you will start by using one or two times a week and then gradually you will build your way up to it. Now remember, when using a retinol, you need to start with a pea size amount and I'm going to show you what that pea size amount is. This is what you need to use. This is a pea size amount. I have a retinol based cream here. You use a pea size amount, you dot it all over your face on clean dry skin. Then you wait for 10 minutes and then apply a moisturizer on top of it. The moisturizer, remember, should not have the moisturizer or the cream, remember, should have no actives. Okay. The second part you need to remember is retinol is an ingredient you use only at night. So when you're getting started, start, uh, you start this ingredient in your PM skincare routine. You start with a pea size amount and you use it one to two times a week and you see how your skin is responding. Are you getting redness? Are you getting 
dryness are you getting flaky skin because all of those are common side effects of starting retinol so it's nothing to be worried about you just need to keep spacing it out and then moving further now remember one thing which is super important if you are not regular with your sunscreen which i sincerely hope you are regular with your sunscreen but if you're not regular with your sunscreen please do not start retinol because when you are using a retinol you may not see it but there is a lot of new skin that is slowly emerging there is some amount of peeling that is happening constantly your skin cells are getting boosted there is some turnover happening and this can make you one sensitive to the sun in some cases but in most cases you want to protect that baby skin you're hatching so you need to be super super disciplined with your sunscreen routine in the am okay so that's the basis so if you're a beginner start with a cream oops start with one two times a week pea size amount on clean dry skin the other thing you need to remember is retinol always always goes on skin that is completely completely dry okay you do not put it on wet skin because that can sort of irritate your skin now let's look at layering options and if you're a beginner i first suggest you start using your retinol and then once you're comfortable with it you can layer it now for layering the two ingredients that are brilliant first hyaluronic acid number two niacinamide niacinamide and retinol together become extremely potent so that is a layering combination that i always always recommend if you're a beginner and you're noticing dryness irritation or any of those signs while using a retinol i recommend you try the sandwich technique of applying retinol in the sandwich technique after you wash and clean your face you will wait for it to be dry apply your moisturizer wait for 10 minutes then apply your retinol, wait for another 10 minutes and then apply your face cream, thereby creating a nice protective sandwich. While applying a retinol based cream, please remember it doesn't go under your eyes, it doesn't go on the sides of your mouth and the sides of your nose because this area is very sensitive and this is where redness, peeling, irritation can be a lot more potent. So that's something you need to remember. The next question that I guess asked is when will retinol work? So it takes time, uh, my friends, and especially if you're using uh, a OTC version of a retinol, it can take a lot of time. It can take up to 16 to 24 weeks for you to see any positive result on your face. So you need to be patient with retinol. And the other thing that is going to determine the impact of retinol is the frequency at which you're using it so if you're using it only one to two times a week this can take longer if you're using it three to four times a week if your skin can tolerate it you will see results in up to 24 weeks the best way to get started like i said is by using a retinol based cream now in this also there are different potencies so like i said for beginners I recommend ROC Max Hydration or Ole Regenerist. If you've been using it for a while and you want to switch up to something stronger, I recommend the Boots Number no. 7 1.5% Retinol Cream Serum or the La Roche Posay Retinol Based Cream. They are a bit stronger than the Ole and the ROC versions. So, this is a great way for you to step up your game when it comes to using retinol. Now, say you've been using it for six to eight months, 12 months maybe, you've used the ROC you've used your La Roche Posay and now you're ready to move up to prescription grade you will start with the potency of 0.025% and with this potency you will start by using it only once a week use it for once a week for two weeks then increase it by another uh, increase the frequency by one more time twice a week for another few weeks and build your skin up to it if your skin is not able to tolerate it every other day that's perfectly fine you don't need to use retinol every other day but as long as you can be consistent with it that is a game changer the way you apply a retinoid is also something that you can see here it is a very very simple way you apply your retinoid you dot it all over your face smooth it over gently and then go ahead and apply your cream after five to ten minutes now this is a basic all about retinol video let me know what you thought of it if you have any further questions leave it in the comments below and i will do a video if i have a lot of common concerns coming on this topic so if you like this video do like this video consider subscribing to the channel or do nothing i am just so happy you're watching me today have a great one